are making the hemp ice cream. Ah! What? Hemp ice cream. This is the perfect cure for the munchies. Well, maybe it's not exactly a cure. It's more like the perfect accessory to the munchies. It's more like an accessory after the fact to the munchies. It makes your munchies way more enjoyable. I am sold. Let me get one of those, sir. Oh, yes. Excellent. Yes. Uh, well done. And we've got vanilla jasmine chocolate mocha mint mango. We have 420 flavors. Five flavors a season. There's no dairy, no soy, no rice, no whey. And the really amazing thing about the hemp ice cream, it does not taste a bit like a rope. It makes you strong like a rope instead. There ain't no B cups there. We've got, we started out with hemp. We picked strategies that would let us continue to generate thunder for American agriculture without having to hold our breath waiting for somebody to change some rules, without whining for somebody's sympathy. Punch your own ticket, pick a product, pick a possibility and develop it into a product. Food, fiber, fuel. With food, we're making hemp ice cream. We started out pressing some of the first hemp seed oil in the United States since 1937. I didn't realize we were going to be pioneers. I thought there were lots of other people already doing this. We began making ice cream because somebody said nobody could make ice cream out of hemp. There may be 10,000 uses, but nobody could do that. So I said, wait a minute, let me think about this. And by New Year's that year, I had made my first hemp ice cream. Oh yes, well what we are out to do is we want to grow 500 acres under a center pivot on Navajo or Apache land. In order to be ready for the success we need to have five acres growing hemp seed for seed to plant 500 acres, assuming a hundredfold increase each year. And the year before that, we need to have five hundredths of an acre, which would be 20 foot by 20 foot. And the year before that, we need to have one hundredth of that acreage, which is two foot by two foot, which is one plant. So that means we're four years away from being able to grow hemp on a scale that could have a real impact. 